Hi guys, welcome back to Critic Frenzy. All right, so it is done. This is Santa's workshop. I'm gonna give you a full tour and we will do um, close up of certain things that I've made off camera, but you'll also see things that I made on camera. So I do have a battery pack. So the lighting has been integrated. I have um, light here, <laughs> as you can see. So that's kind of cool. I'm happy with that. Um, so this might be a little bit shaky. We'll see how it goes. So, oh my goodness. I had a lot of fun making this, um, but it was finicky. It was small. But anyway. <laughs> All right, so let's take out the things that are loose, that are not glued down. So that'll be kind of a good starting point. Oh my goodness, okay. Then I can show you, whoops. I'll try and do this all with one hand. <laughs> all righty. There we go more almost there <laughs> and then one more I need my other hand for that all right so here we go <laughs> uh, okay let's show the inside first okay so there are the little jack-in-the-boxes that I made um, pencil crayon set and the little ducks that we did on camera that I showed you a tutorial of. Like I said before, it's very easy to just use your stamps and make something, you know, very simple. You don't have to carve everything out of wood. Uh, made a slinky out of just wire coiled around a mandrel. And this is our little book page um, clown thingy, antique. <laughs> um, down here I have uh, ring toss. Here's Santa's workbench. And there is, um, you know, some wood shavings and some dust on the floor. There's a paint can, some newspaper, all kinds of little bits and pieces. This is a workshop after all. Um, so here, this um, stove, wood stove, is made out of my uh, glue stick lids. So two of them glued end to end and then some straw and beads and wood pieces and painted. So I really am very happy how that turned out. Um, the only pieces that I bought specifically for this was this clock up here. This one, it's an Ashland um, brand and the Santa. Those are the only ones in here that I bought. And then the rest, um, like these ones here, this one and a couple of others. So the Santa down there, they're from um, um, drink um, holders or not holders, but, you know, for placement and things like that to know which drink is yours. Wine glass uh, charms, that's the word. <laughs> so there's a map. And then a calendar and then one of the lights I wanted to make sure that it had a little shade on it so I just put a little paper shade over top a little light switch I love how the floor turned out I'm very happy with that and this is the stairs into the little workshop so it's kind of nice to sort of leave that open so you can imagine there'd be a door here and walls and stuff so yeah and then <laughs> These are those little uh, foam balls, the glitter foam balls. I just strung them with a needle and thread and uh, hot glued them onto the ceiling. I love how the little mullions up here turned out with the uh, roof. That was a nightmare in and of itself to make, but it turned out well. And then all the way around there is garland with uh, bows and ribbon and stuff. So. Yeah, very happy with how it turned out. Uh, now the teddy bears, some look better than others. Here, I'll give you another little close-up. So some look better than others. I'm still working on that process, but 
it's getting there. We'll see how it goes for the rest. Uh, this little wreath, oops, sorry, um, I just made with a washer and then some bells and some greenery. And then I just hang it on the little hook. There we go. <laughs> and then that wreath I made also. And then um, the little Santa up there is just from scrapbook paper that I just glued on there. So I thought that was kind of cute. Oh, and this is another one of those little wine glass charms. So, all right. And then these are the things that are not glued down. So I made a toolbox because Santa needs a toolbox to put all his tools in. It's made out of a Jenga block and some beads. And I just painted it this lovely green color which I'm really happy about so that's gonna go up there there we go next we we I made <laughs> um, this in another video um, I don't remember which one now but I painted it green and I just glued all those little glittery foam balls around the edge and then this is the the horse and the little deer so cute and I just went through my wrapping paper stash and rolled some up and put it in there that's gonna go there I could glue these down of course but I wanted to leave some loose just in case uh, let's see um, all right so here's one of the wagons and a couple of teddy bears in there so easy to do it's adorable. These are little, um, sorry, I'm trying to hold this with one hand. Uh, these are buttons, and then I just made little hubcaps out of uh, foil paper. So that turned out well. I'm very happy with that. And then, let's see. Um, this little wagon is so cute. I really like how this one turned out too. So this one is a shorter uh, sides than the other one, but I wanted to put all the little colorful books in there so they would be, um, you know, like little children's books. So that's really cute and that fits nicely in there. Sorry. So that's not bad. And then these are those bottle brush trees that I got at Dollar Tree. I just wrapped some um, floss, embroidery floss around it and just stuck it in there. And this is one of the pots that I uh, painted first with um, baking soda and paint to make it look like stone. And then I just painted it and wiped some of it off with some sandpaper to give it that really cool effect. So I'm happy with that. So you can place these anywhere which way you want, but just thought it'd be kind of cute there. Um, this little guy, um, this is from Leftover Packaging. I've had this for many, many years. I just cut the little ends off because it was a handle to something or other. I don't remember what it was from. And I just drilled a couple of holes and put the buttons on there for wheels and gave it a little string to make it look like a little pull toy. It really is adorable. A little cricket or grasshopper I'm not sure which <laughs> all right um, so here's the little table uh, these are the other wine glass charms there's the little checkerboard and then some hot chocolate and some chocolate chip cookies and then I decoupaged a couple more of those Santos on the table just for fun so I'm really happy. I did not sand this down. I kind of like the rough look of it in this case. So I wanted it to be, you know, it's a workshop. Not everything looks pristine and perfect. So there we go. That goes there. And then we have another little teddy. Look how cute he is. This is the best one out of all of them. <laughs> so he sort of sits there. I think anyway. That's adorable. And then of course, Santa. There, checking his list. That's it guys. I'm so very happy with how it turned out. I hope you got some ideas for your own little creative <laughs> Santa's workshop. 
and you had fun with this little series. Just as much fun as I had making it. So, um, yeah. Enjoy, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.